Hi, welcome, Simon here, and hope you're doing well. In this video, we're gonna troubleshoot what is going on with this Dell XPX. It is not powering on. So let me show you the battery indicator. It shows that it's fully charged. If you press that little button right there, all the lights are lit up to the max. So it's 100% fully charged. Uh, that is the indicator of the battery. And for the same time, I will plug in my USB-C here on the side just to somewhat kind of charge it up and see what would happen to my laptop so here I'm trying to turn on the computer pressing down the power button and I have no sign of any light or anything on a caps lock except just for a blink of a second and that's pretty much it so as you can see the, the caps lock flashes just for one second less than a second and it goes away all right and i have no display on the screen so let's go ahead and try to troubleshoot the problem if it's worse that not able to fix it at least we try to recover the data all right here comes the torque 5 t5 screwdriver we need to use the torque screwdriver to remove the screws so let's go ahead and remove all the screws here Alright, once you have removed all the screws, the next step is to remove the back cover. And what I like to do is to either get a metal prying tool or a plastic prying tool so that it's thin enough for you to stick in between that little gap. Alright, so I have a little bit of a room and the next step is to get the plastic prying tool to pry it open. I try not to make a scratch using the metal prying tool. So use a plastic one would be the best. All right, at this point, the entire back cover should just pop right off. The first thing I like to do is to remove the battery by sliding down that connector towards your body. Okay, so I have removed the battery and let's press the battery indicator. Uh, definitely there's no light whatsoever when you're pressing the, the indicator so let me go ahead and plug in the power we're going to do a direct power from the adapter into the computer and see if there's anything any lights or any sign of life all right so let's press the power button i have no spinning well the light came on for a second and it goes away okay that's pretty much it the fan is not spinning so that one way to tell it is not from the battery um, and definitely has no ram in this computer that we can remove or to try out to replace the ram and the only thing left is a cmos battery we can disconnect the cmos battery here by sliding to your right and I have a feeling it might be the motherboard problem so let me go ahead and remove the SSD here comes the M.2 SSD drive remove that open up that turn it around on that um, the heat sink and we try to uh, lift up the M.2 and slide it to your right you might find it a little bit sticky at the bottom hard to remove because this is the thermal pads the thermal pad sometimes is stick onto the motherboard it may be a bit difficult to lift it up and just gently lift it up do not break the chipset and slide it to your right that's how you remove the m.2 while the cmos is still being disconnected i let let the computer and the motherboard drain all the battery uh, we're going to talk about the recovering the data 
let me show it to you one of the device that I need to use all right so you need to have this device here which is the M.2 USB adapter reader so this reader here allows you to read the um, M.2 data so you, all you have to do is just stick it in like this uh, they do have this rubber band that that allows you to um, hold down the M.2 like such okay and what you have to do is just simply plug it into one of your working computer and it acts like a USB thumb drive to recover the data uh, you should be able to see all your information in this um, hard drive now if you're not sure where to buy the USB adapter please check the link down below I'll link it to Amazon where you can buy it directly from Amazon and hopefully you can recover your personal data and go from there all right so I think we have been about what a minute or two now so I'm going to re-plug in the CMOS battery hopefully we would have some kind of indicator of power at the same time I'll plug in the battery connector slide it in as long as the fan spins and stays on I'm happy with the result um, we'll see what happened next okay so let's take a look here we have the the battery indicator it shows full power press the power button and see if there's any spin on the uh, motherboard the fan again there's nothing much it's just a little light that comes on here and goes away and the motherboard fan is not spinning all right so i'm pretty confident to say that the motherboard is bad it's beyond repairable i do not fix the motherboard or test out the uh, chipset or any capacitors here um, so i would just say the best is to um, buy a replacement motherboard and just swap it okay so this is um, hopefully at least the video show you how to recover the data um, and yeah please Go check the link down in the description below. I hopefully this helps you to uh, to get your personal information. And again, if you do find this video is helpful, all I'm asking is just smash a like button for me. Um, I really appreciate you for smashing the like button. And of course, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please feel free to subscribe. Um, and I do answer your questions. Comment below regarding about computer stuff. If you have any computer problem comment below i will answer those questions thanks for watching until next time take care